Hi, this is Brandon, and I want to do a tu series of tutorials on installing Moodle. As you can tell by Moodle's website, it is a course management system. It's free and open source, and universities use it, uh, and a single classroom teacher could use it as well. Uh, it is it's open source, so it's free to uh, be edited. And I will be installing it on Windows 2000 using IIS 5. First thing, let's talk about setting up IIS and the Moodle directories. To put IIS on your computer, if it's not already on there, you go to Add or Move Programs, Add or Move Windows Components, and you just if IIS is not quick, you click that, and then you next, next, next through all the two through the wizards, and once that's set up, you can right click on my computer and go to manage, and then your computer management will open up. Then you want to expand IIS services. and first we need to create the Moodle directory so if you go to properties and home directory this is where Moodle is going to live at so you can open up my computer navigate to to this directory create a new folder and call it Moodle and also make a new folder and call it Moodle Data. While we're here we need to assign some permissions to these folders. If you right click, go to Properties, Security, you want to add iUser, which is the uh, anonymous user uh, that, that will give people access to the Moodle website and they need all privileges except full control and by the way it's a lot easier to do this before you put files into the folder okay all but full control okay so now let's go back to our properties and put the home page as Moodle or the home directory. Okay, apply. And you want to make sure that they have script source access, read and write, or uh, it will not work. While we're also here, let's go to direct uh, to the website. I'm sorry, go to the documents, and uh, if you have anything else in here, delete it out and you want to add index.php which is going to be the home page for Moodle okay now I'm going to go to my I have a setup folder that has everything in it that we'll need you'll also need PHP and MySQL which I'll cover in another video but open up the uh, Moodle zip file and what you want to do is extract all files you want to go to your inet pub and your ww root and if you just click extract it'll automatically put the files into the moodle folder uh, that's it for this tutorial in the next one i'll show you uh, how to set up php